Okay, while this video is about the Indians, actually it starts with upon further review, like they do in football and baseball, it's its own version of it, upon further review. A few weeks ago, tribe manager Terry Francona said he's not going to move Jose Ramirez off of third base because Ramirez is having an MVP caliber season. He's comfortable at third. He hasn't taken any ground balls anywhere else besides third base. And yes, Ramirez in the past has played second base. He's played shortstop. He's even played the outfield. He wanted to keep him at third. And that meant Jason Kipnis stays at second, and uh, no other moves would be made. But last Friday, the Indians made a trade for Josh Donaldson. Donaldson, guess what he plays? Third base. He's been an all-star third baseman in the past. Now, Donaldson's dealt with a lot of, boy, I hate these words, calf muscle injuries. Calf muscle injuries, because one name comes to mind, Lonnie Chisinau, calf muscle injuries. Lonnie Chisinau's been out for so long with calf muscle injuries, I seriously forgot he was on the team until I was looking up exactly Donaldson's injury history, and then I remembered it was the same as Chisenhall's, at least for this year. Chisenhall, by the way, has only played 47 games since the 2017 All-Star break because of calf muscle injuries. Now, Donaldson's trying to come back. He hasn't played in the big leagues since the end of May. The Indians wisely are having to play some games in the minors to just to see how his legs hold up. But if you bring Donaldson in, he's got to play third base. That means you're moving your MVP candidate, Ramirez, to second base, which is something you said you weren't going to do. So why are the Indians doing this. I think it comes down to one basic reason. Doubt. In the back of their mind, the way the lineup is, they didn't think it's good enough to get them back to the World Series. They would never say that, but I think they looked at their uh, Melky Cabrera in right, Greg Allen in center. You know, thank goodness they have Michael Brantley a left, but just Kipnis has struggled offensively. They figured we need another bat in here. And Donaldson's a guy they were able to get basically on the cheap from Toronto. So they would risk, one, that he could hurt those calf muscles again, or two, that maybe this upsets Ramirez. Now, Ramirez has said he's willing to do it. And I also think the reason is it's one thing to move from third base to second base for Donaldson and all starts. Another thing to do it for a kid like Yanni Diaz. So that's why the move's being made. But the message being sent, and I give the Indians credit for this, is saying we get a chance to get better. And I think they also hear the clock ticking. After the season, Michael Brantley's a free agent. Cody Allen's a free agent. Andrew Miller's a free agent. Lonnie Chisinau's a free agent. In fact, just about the whole bullpen are free agents, with the exception of uh, Adam Simber and Brad Hand. Josh Tomlin's a free agent. Now, some of these guys you may want to keep, some you won't. But the idea being that, you know, there's going to be some major changes in the roster. So I think they thought, you know, we got one shot, at least with this group as it's put together right now. So let's go for it. So that's why Donaldson's here. And we'll see how it works out. But in my mind, by the way, the guy that's going to be left out, some people think it's Greg Allen in center field. I actually think it's going to be Kipnis because... They want a fast guy in center field to play between Melky Cabrera in right and Brantley in left. Well, that's not Kipnis. You know, he's a second baseman the last number of years. But Allen has shown some really, uh, I mean, Allen can run. He's fun to watch. So Donaldson is a move the Indians made because they felt if they didn't make this move and they failed to get to the World Series, they always will wonder what would have happened had we made that trade for Donaldson.